Canada. I'm Lisa Witz from Benbrook, Ontario. And I hate bank fees, especially ATM fees. I don't think they're fair and I think they're Canada's dumbest charge. Yep, this quiet rural town is about to wake up to Lisa's beef, ATM fees. <laughs> At the country fair, Lisa is giving an earful. I think they're dumb. Yeah. I think we're paying too much. And Definitely. Um, they take your money, they make money on your money, and then they charge you to use your own money. That's right. It just makes, <laughs> yeah. makes no sense, right? It's no wonder these fees have people upset. Even when you use your own bank's ATM, you can still be charged a fee. Lisa's a Scotia Bank customer, the closest branch for her, a 25 minute drive. Sometimes I just can't make it. I've got kids, they need money, so I have to use another bank's ATM. On $20, I'm paying $1.95 plus whatever my bank charges, which is probably $1.50. And it all adds up. We shell out about $400 million every year in ATM fees. So do you feel like you're getting railroaded <laughs> by the banks? I just think we're paying too much. Yes. Lisa calls up the bank with the ATM she often has to use, TD, to find out why they're charging so much. The TD reps got a technical explanation. So because you're not using a Scotia machine, it networks through TD to Scotia. But listen to this. Do you think that's fair? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so you think it's a dumb charge too then? Oh, absolutely. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye. If a TD um, customer service rep is upset about paying the fees as well. It just shows that all Canadians are are upset about this. And when she calls her own bank? My thoughts are I want to keep my money in a mattress at home. We want to know why ATM fees are so high. So we're back at the Canadian Bankers Association to speak with spokesperson Maura Drew Lytle. Canadians think ATM fees are a dumb charge. The reason they're there is banks put their ATM networks in place to for the use of their customers and there's a lot of expenses involved. We spoke to a woman, Lisa, who lives in a small town and to get to her bank she has to drive 25 minutes. So instead she uses another bank's ATM. Then she might consider banking with that bank that's in her town. Easy to say, but Lisa's got all her accounts with Scotiabank, so making the switch, not that easy. And she's not alone in the fight. The NDP has called on the government to cap ATM fees at 50 cents. On average, the real cost of processing a transaction today is estimated to be around 36 cents. That's in the States. Hard to believe it'd be so much higher here. Canadians are paying two, three, four, five dollars and more to use an ATM here. I mean, we understand that nobody likes to pay fees, but it's and also... they don't like to feel gouged. That's well, the thing. The value this fee is so too. high. You know, you have to look at what kind of value do I think I'm getting from my banking. You're accessing your own money and the banks yeah, are charging you, you access, for it. You have access to ATMs all across the country. You can use them all around the world. But at the fair, Lisa still says those charges are unfair. And she's rallying support to fight them. Do you think I have Canada's dumbest charge? <laughs> I think I have their support. Do I have your support? You do, all the way. <laughs> this is how I feel when I use another bank's ATM. I feel like I'm getting dinged. 